new image from Kong Skull Island, Warner Brothers' highly anticipated reboot of the King Kong property, has been released online that gives us our first look at the creature. Jordan Vote Roberts directs this big budget pick that takes place in the 1970s during the Vietnam War. Speaking with EW, Vote Roberts explained his approach to reimagining the creature, saying, We sort of went back to the 1993 or 1933 version in the sense that he's a bipedal creature that walks in an upright position as opposed to the anthropomorphic and atomically correct silverback gorilla that walks on all fours. Our Kong was intended to say, like, this isn't just a big gorilla or a big monkey. This is something that is its own species. It has its own set of rules so we can do what we want, <laughs> and we really wanted to pay homage to <laughs> what came before and yet do something completely different. As far as its comparison okay. to Warner Brothers' other monster, Godzilla, but Robert said, we're also fundamentally not playing the same game that Gareth Edwards' Godzilla did and most monster movies do, which I'm sort of sick of the notion that a monster movie needs to wait an hour or 40 minutes until the creature shows up. Kong traditionally <laughs> does not show up in these movies until very, very late, and the monster traditionally does not show up until very, very late in a monster movie. But, so a lot of these movies tend to have this structure that's a bit of a slow burn. Something about this movie made me want to reject that and play a very, very different game. Christian, I'm calling you out now. Thoughts on the comments and new image for Kong Skull Island. Mike's busting. I, think Mike's I, 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 I gotta say something here. I gotta say something here. I gotta say something here. And, and Natasha, that was a great reading of that long quote. Thank you. I hope to God this guy's fucking movie <laughs> is more interesting than his analogy of what his fucking movie is gonna be. <laughs> I never heard. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was like a deposition. <laughs> Who gives a shit, man? This is. Let me tell you something. I I, I watched this show. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not going to sit here for an hour talking about these monster movies, these comic book villains, and all this bullshit. This guy's talking about what we did in the original, what was it, 1933? 1933. Yeah. Who, who's doing the math? No one, you think that any of the kids that are going to see this fucking thing and the parents that have to drag their kids to see this nonsense are going to sit there and watch the, 1993, the 1933 version to be like, oh, well, he wasn't anatomically correct. And Listen. This is what's wrong, I'm gonna tell you straight up, this is what's wrong with Hollywood, and this is a cinephile movie. This is what's wrong with cine cinema in general. Hollywood is fucked. We're, we're fu I'm part of it, I'm part of it. I would love to be a part of this movie, but if people- <laughs> No, I had a great sell well, again. Right, no, I would love to be, any actor would be uh, would love to be a part of it because time. Oh yeah. And every time they re, the re-duping it and re Cut the bullshit, man. <laughs> Just make the fucking movie. Hopefully it's huge success. Hopefully you got a good part for, for, for a shit. Is it take place in New York? This no, one? no, no. Does it, so I, I, I definitely won't get a chance to be in this one. That's the line. What's the difference between this, this one, one and the last this one? This one, King Kong, is as big as Godzilla. And there's Great. No, there's no Beauty and the Beast angle this time. What is the, what, there's no there's no girl? Not this time. He's just he's gonna going knock to... shit down yeah. and <laughs> yeah. fucking the buildings that they knocked down in the last one and we're gonna be scared and the, the, the apes point. gonna they're be changed. sent back into the ocean. Where are they gonna put the apes? They're not gonna, no ocean this one. He doesn't, he can't swim. Um, so what they're, what they're <laughs> How do you know? Because that's that's what they said. They rebooted this as a non-swimming ape. What they're gonna do- A non-swimming ape. And he's a walking ape. He doesn't run around like a- He can walk. But if he's so big, he can just walk into the ocean. He'll have like a head that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking guy. I, I, I've never seen somebody be so sincere, so serious about his movie testing, and it's like, get the fuck out of here. You could put you. They could take an unknown person off the street who's never acted before, who has no experience, no fan base, no Twitter page, no Instagram, no followers, no anything. All you got to do is put them in the movie. Spider Man is selling the movie. It doesn't matter. King Kong with this fucking Donkey Kong shit. Where <laughs> that, people are going to go see it because of that. It, but they're like, you know, but, micromanaging every little what? point of it. And as far, I'm just saying from an actor's point of view, I'm telling you the real deal. It's some bull shit. See, I, I think it I was the other way around. I think years ago. Puzzle and all you. Jeremy. Yeah. You've been sitting very patiently. No, yeah. That's how, that's how I run. We're on the easy screen. Yeah, you know, and jacket. it feels so yeah, sweet. So what do you think yeah, about that? I think that director is going to think twice no. before he answers shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be like, is Michael Rappaport watching this? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm just fucking guy. with you guys. You know, you, know, I, you know, like I'm just here, you know, having a good time. But I, 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 It's I, hot button issues. It's hot button issues. No, but I get, I get, I get, go finish what you're saying, Jeremy. No, I was just saying thank you for taking everyone's mind off of the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay, look, 
forgot we are, about that. I already right? said we were going to go just forgot on that was today. My, I think I appreciate it too because fuck, man, it's, it's been a rough two days. <laughs> we, oh yeah, we got to move on. Rough. I can say like fuck, seven man, other. What are the, what are we got like seven other issues. issues. Element though, so I'm with you. I'm kind of like, all right, whatever. Michael Rappaport. I don't know. Did you I, have a chance to see? It just dropped this morning, so you probably didn't have a chance to see. Snap. What do you think about it? I actually really liked it. You know, I'm a big science fiction fan, and and no fucking shit. No fucking shit. I just mentioned I would be like, yeah, if he's going to say, I would say he's science no, I, fiction. I, you didn't just meet me, man. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm a big nerd, and you know, I don't mind getting you. called out. Uh, science fiction. Move forward with it. I had my doubts that they could or should move forward with it. The last one only made like $410 million, which I know that sounds like a ridiculously large number, and it is, but when you consider how much money it costs yeah. to make that film, which is close to $200 million to make that film, like they so just... barely broke even. Yeah, it barely broke even. But no, they're moving on from a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you can make seven movies with that, right? $210 million? To make the, you know, a second run. I think everything I saw in the first movie was a lot of fun. It's giant monsters fighting giant robots. Makes you feel like you're eight. Did you see Pacific Rim? Nah, man. <laughs> I think your kids would love it. My, my, kids, honestly, my kids are, are they're, they're, they're teenagers now, and they're the kind of teenagers that are like, they're just not into it. Yeah. But they, they, they had their faith. But I know I'm in the minority, so... But so 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 we have monsters. He's yep. still shaking about this two hundred ten million dollar budget. Thing. No, no, this is like <laughs> I want to keep track. Weird, we have monsters weird, fighting robots. Yeah, kaiju, giant robots. Yeah. Kaiju giant How, monsters from monsters under, that bleed. Bleed. Yeah. Fighting robots that are mechanical. With yes. dudes, little dudes, real dudes inside like in them. In their control, heads. Yeah. Like Robotech style stuff. Voltron, baby. Yeah. I hear you. It's a combo old school <laughs> thing, man. So, He's like, sure. Uh, so the. Right. Uh, He's <laughs> room two. I'm all into it. I'm not lying. He's writing a script in his head right now. Right now. I wish I could, man. I would be writing a fucking $210 million film, man. God damn. <laughs> all right, listen, wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Remember wait. when uh, Titanic wait. was the big film? Have you seen the Mission Impossible movies with Tom Cruise? Of course, I've seen them. I like them. Um, didn't he just come out with a, a film? Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher, Reacher yeah, number two. Did people it's... like that? No, not really. <laughs> but this is different. I love the first one. Though. Yeah. I thought the first Jack Reacher was really yeah. good. I was. Do you think that one. Tom Cruise approaches his Mission Impossible character any different than his Jack Reacher character? Ish, but not by much. Yeah, I agree. It's the same like thing, little, right? Yeah. For the most part. Uh, but uh, yeah, Mission Impossible. I mean, they, they have good actors in that. The stories are always good. I can't ever tell what the fuck's going on. I'm just waiting for the car, <laughs> the car flips and, and all that stuff. <laughs> but waiting for I'm the sure run. That's good. the title yeah. of this one: yeah. Car Flips. Yeah. Yeah. Ethan Ethan Hunt, yeah. Yeah. Cruz as Ethan Hunt is a little bit smarter and less brutish than yeah. Jack Reacher. So. A little bit. You can yeah. tell a difference. A I variation. can tell a difference. Yeah. 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 Slash film asked about the new Willy Wonka movie in the works at the studio. Heyman emphasized that the movie won't be just another rehash of the same movies, and instead. Tease it as an origin story. Heyman huh. also revealed that the rights to the Road Dolls novels all tied up, so he hinted that the movie might explore other periods of Willy Wonka's life not found in the books. Huh. It's challenging because you don't have doll, you don't have a doll book, and yet you have a doll character. But I think there's a lot in his character that suggests who he is and also where he might come from or what his childhood or his middle age might have been like. So we're exploring that, we're discussing it, we're in the very early stages and very excited about what lies ahead. Michael Byers sell the new Willy Wonka movie, possibly not utilizing the books for Wonka's origin story. <laughs> <laughs> Who's directing it? Uh, I don't think we know uh, yet. Flappy McWilliams. We don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They just, we just want, we, well, you can, who's going to play Willy Wonka? They don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's oh, just okay. announced. All right. Well. It's just a writer. Yeah. He's working. It looks like Spider-Man is in it for the long haul. After debuting as the web slinger in this year's Captain America Civil War, <laughs> actor Tom Holland <laughs> revealed that he's signed on to appear as a superhero huh. in six Marvel movies. Huh. Here's what he told THR. They give you options, and those could be exercised whenever, like a cameo in Avengers. I'm unclear as to which movies, though. I do know I have three Spider-Man appearances in other movies and three solo movies contracted, but if you have another movie, Marvel is good about working around it. They're very respectful of your life. Really? Really? Sh really? <laughs> Snap by herself, Tom Holland appearing as Spidey in six movies for Marvel and Sony. Mm. This when fucking kid should just yeah. be like, I'm fucking happy to be here. I'll do whatever they tell me, when they tell me, and I'm happy to be playing Spider Man. They're really respectful Let me ask about you a your question. life. Let me ask you your a life is playing Spider Man from here forward, kid. That's it. <laughs> That's fucking it. Oh, they're really happy to let you get the fuck out of here. Maybe you should be happy that you're playing Spider Man in the next six 
nine movies. Okay, my man, that's it. Be happy. So he's got four left in his contract where he's making a ton of money. And Marvel's really cool. Who is this so kid? He's like 19 years old. He's a young kid. What is he he's from? London, England. Wait, wait, yeah, no, yeah, great. The Impossible. I fucking Damn. knew it. I said London. I knew it. Oh, Scotland. Do you see yeah. The Impossible? We're, we, we can't have no. our own superheroes played by Americans. Absolutely not. We got, we're so fucked up. Our actors are so inept. They're from Australia. They got to be from England, England or Australia. Because so yeah. American yeah. actors yeah. aren't uh, trained. Get the fuck uh. out of here. We can't have our own American-born and bred superheroes <laughs> played right. by American actors. I know. Give me a fucking break. Yeah, that's right. Do you, is there any superheroes that are from London or, or Australia or any of these places? Nope. Not no, yet. but if they, if <laughs> so they were, no. if there were, you bet your bottom fucking dollar. Yeah. They would never hire an American to play one of their superheroes. But over here, we got, oh, we have to find him. He's great. He was trained. We've never seen him before. Like I said, they could put you in the fucking Spider-Man movie and people are going to go see it because it's Spider-Man. But going back, you let Christian Bale as Batman. Yeah, but he's Christian Bale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, people get a pass. Well said, well said, well said. I mean, he's a very, 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 right. very good actor. I'm just saying, like, you know, rarely, they rarely let American actors play Australians, Brits, Scots, any other thing, unless they really, really, really have to, or if, they, or if they're really, really a big star. It's a tough accent. But, right, well, so is a fucking New York accent, well, but yeah. they'll let anybody from all over the place <laughs> come and do I'm not going to disagree. Try. I'm not disagreeing with you on that one. Some New York accents for most actors are shit. I love you, Tom Holland. You can follow me at Jeremy Johns. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Tom Holland? Spider-Man. <laughs> the 19-year-old kid? Perfect. Yeah. All right, well.